Welcome to part three of manipulating the math with place value chips. Let's take a look at modeling three different kinds of subtraction strategies. And all of these strategies keep place value in mind. This first one is going to model breaking apart numbers and the concept of regrouping. I first wanna build the number 743 and we're gonna go ahead and write it in expanded form. Let's go crazy and start subtracting our 100s first because the goal in math is flexible thinking. So I can go ahead and take away 500 and I do have 200 left over. In order to subtract that 80, I broke a bar of 100 and turned it into 10 tens. And now I have 14 tens to subtract from to get 60. And the same concept with our ones place. Let's break apart a 10 and add 10 ones to get 13 ones. Then 13 minus five does give us eight. So the difference is 158. Now let's drop the regrouping and use a number line. Using a number line, there's a couple of different approaches that you could use. We're essentially just finding the distance on a number line. We could start at 585 and add up to subtract to find the difference. Or in this case, we can start at 743 and count back. Now, a common misconception that I saw a lot in my third grade classroom was students thinking that 40 minus 80 is positive 40. It's technically negative 40 and it still works when we subtract. The same concept is used for three minus five. We're gonna get a negative two. Then that 200 minus 40 is 160 minus two. We get that same difference of 158. When students get to third grade math, we tend to take the place value concepts out of addition and subtraction. We wanna make sure that we're not just fostering single digit thinking. So if you want some confident mathematicians in your classroom, focus on using those pictorial models and strategies that hold place value that can set them up for success when they get to the standard algorithm. 